Hey there, welcome to Hype Tried. Uh, today, I'm very excited to try Little Witch in the Woods. It is in like game preview early access mode right now. I'm playing it through Game Pass. I don't know if the Steam version is any different, but I'm very excited. This is supposed to be like a spooky sort of Stardew Valley-esque game, which is oh, such my vibe. <laughs> so let's give it a try. Look at how cute she is. Run, you delightful little witch. <laughs> oh, man. I love indie games that have... Oh, oh, it's so cute. I wonder where the carrot was. Are you still thinking about that? Is that my hat? Is my hat talking to me? Oh, <gasps> that's amazing. We found everything except the carrot. I think it's good that we never found the carrot. There was something off about that legendary carrot soup recipe. I just realized we never checked the men's restroom. Yes, there are just some lines you don't cross. I don't want a carrot out of a men's restroom. We searched the whole school, save for that place, but we never found the carrot. That means the carrot was in the men's restroom. A carrot in the men's restroom. What an odd sense of humor. I should write Jenny a letter asking her to look through the men's restroom. Yeah, get in there, Jenny. Take a peek. <laughs> Can't you ask Will instead? It's the men's restroom after all. Nope, that coward finds it. He'll take it to the teacher, bawling like before. Keep in mind that if it weren't for Will, you'd be in jail right now. Oh, some, some stuff has already gone down that we need to know about. Ellie, what mischief has you been up to? Also, who is this delightful little leopard that is the bartender in this train? Or six feet under. Oh god, it's a little dark. Ugh, I'm so bored. It's a flashback. Flashbacks are supposed to be boring. Oh, we're breaking the fourth wall. This has got a lot going on right off the bat. I see why no one else wants to ride this god-awful train. It's boring enough to drive anyone insane. Hey, a ticket for this train costs 500 pies. And it stop the witch's house in High Lion, where all roads lead to. Your second place at the school for witches. Whatever. I don't care about any of that. Look at my pouty little cheeks. <laughs> How am I second place anyway? I even sneaked into the forbidden room twice. Three times. I even looked through the forbidden books in the hidden library in the school basement. I still remember that horned rabbit that, <laughs> that was as big as a house. No wonder Will started crying. So how did I manage second place? I simply didn't want to lose. Cut it out and sit quietly. This is a train only for those who want to succeed. The witch's house might be dark and damp, but it's only three years of your life. Fine, fine. Enough with the lecture. As a matter of fact, I'm disturbed with the thought of taking off my shoes when I get off the train. Shoes? For what? I wonder what kind of trouble you'll get into when we arrive. I won't. I won't fool around the moment I get there. I didn't know you had self-awareness. Don't we know about the terrible city of rules that is High Lion? The first thing to do is to take your shoes off as soon as you get off the train. This is my first time hearing something like that. I heard that Jenny's older sister was wearing strappy boots when she first arrived at High Lion. So she almost couldn't get off because she had to unstrap them completely. See? Mom bought me new shoes as well. Didn't Arya just mean to encourage you? No, Dad also did say that comfortable boots would be better. That's strange. It's true? I'll ask other people if you don't believe me. Lace up boots. It's a pain to wear lace up boots if you're boarding the train to High Lion. A lot going on here right off the bat. Okay. Alright. Look at how cute I am with my little hat. What's up, bartender? Hello, Mr. Bartender. Hey, want a drink? No, I don't drink alcohol. Do you have any tea? Of course. Then I'll have a cup of that. 
The tea has alcohol, though. Is that okay? But then that's just alcohol. Alcohol with tea. Potato, potato. Then, can I ask you a question instead of a drink? Anytime. Keyword conversations. You can initiate conversations using the keywords at your disposal. Oh, interesting. Okay. Something on your mind? Yeah. Lisa Boots. None. Chit chat. Shop. Personal stories. Let's ask about boots. Can I take a look at your shoes? My shoes? Well, four. From what I've heard, you have to take your shoes off before you step foot into High Line Station. You work at the train, so you know what I'm talking about, right? Oh, that story. Absolutely. Plenty of confused passengers who were all dressed up for High Lion. If you're wearing shoes of that sort, I'd advise you to untie them in advance. Oh, it's true then. O oh, ye who reacheth High Lion, look first upon thy shoes. Or so that's how the saying goes. See, Virgil, I was right. Oh, my dad's name is Virgil. The preppy boots mom gave me as a present tell me just as much. Those are some nice boots. Right? My mom bought them for me when she found out I was graduating magna cum laude. It sure is amazing you're graduating magna cum laude despite your antics. You gonna keep up with that attitude of yours? Haha, -ha, hearing the two of you speak, I have a feeling being... Being boredom won't be an issue. Obviously, early access to a little bit of typos, a little bit of disjointedness in the, uh, in the text, but it's adorable and I love it. Nope, it's so boring. Aren't you bored, Mr. Bartender? I've gotten used to it. But it's certainly gotten less boring thanks to you and your hat. You've been listening? Other guests would have heard about your arson at the School for Witches by now. Oh, <laughs> arson? I didn't set it on fire. Really? Uh, sure, there was a fire, but that was because I shook a potion five times and made it explode. Potions must be shaken three times only. Even a non witch. Oh, sorry. Wrong voice. Potions must be shaken three times only. Even a non witch like me knows that. Exactly. How can you not try shaking it four times having heard that? Solid reasoning. But you said you shook it five times. Nothing happened on the fourth time, so I shook it once more. An inquisitive mind. You've already got the makings of a fine witch. Thanks for the praise. I don't think he was praising you. I should be on my way then. Alright, have a fun trip. You can't act like a country bumpkin once you're in the city, got it? You're not going to ask just one person, are you? Why? One is never enough, you know. Even the greatest detectives never reach a conclusion based on a single piece of evidence. Hmm, you have a point. You can use your notes to see what keywords you have. Oh, look at all this. The only thing I don't love about this game is it must have been, like, made for controller play, maybe? Because you can't use your mouse. I would like to be able to click on things. That's my only complaint so far. Um, so I have to use sort by newest. Sort by oldest. All right. But that's fine. Um, yeah, investigate. The food was really delicious, though. Your face was bright only when you were eating after getting on the train. The omelet that was overflowing with cheese and crab meat as soon as it was cut. The pink salmon steak seasoned with fresh lemon-scented kiwi sauce. Even the slightly frozen strawberries and peach sorbet with whipped cream. Without this meal, I would have jumped off the train sooner. It's definitely different from the food you buy at the store at the school for witches. <laughs> I ate that to collect the Great Witch series cards. I got scolded because I was caught keeping the card and throwing away the bread. Don't do that again in High Lion. I'll definitely try the Nubicula cupcakes there. That's if I get to High Lion before I get bored to death. Oh my goodness, that's just sass. Sassafras. Alright, so you get off the train, we're not ready to do that yet. 
Uh, there is more. Oh, everybody's like an animal. Oh, I love that. <laughs> okay, sorry, but I do. Ordinary passenger. Oh. Oh, he's handsome. <laughs> hello. Oh. Hello. Am I disturbing you? Negative. What's the issue? Oh, I want to ask you about something. You're on the way to High Lion, right? Correct. Um, what's the matter? Oh, it's just that you have a very blunt way of speaking. Oh, my. Old habits die hard, especially when one is deep in thought. And very handsome. <laughs> you sound like the janitor for my school. Well, I used to be a soldier. Oh, oh my god, little building. There was a, there was a war? What war did the wolf people fought? <laughs> Sorry. So, what brings you here? Speak. Uh, um, it's a personal story for this guy. You live in High Lion? Correct. I own a flower shop there. Oh, that's nice. Whoa. Speak. Chit chat. Since I'm not much of a talker, I don't have anything to say in particular. Speak. Okay. Well, let's just ask him about the boots. Before that. What? You've been staring at my feet for a while. Is there some kind of problem? Oh, I was going to ask anyway. Isn't it uncomfortable to wear such strappy boots? It takes some time to put them on and take them off, but I'm used to it. Then it would be hard for you when you arrive at High Lion. What? What are you talking about? I mean, you have to take, uh, take your shoes off when you get off. What? 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 Huh? Oh, you were kidding. I'm sorry. I'm rather dull when it comes to things like this. Jenny! Mr. Bartender! The mystery has been solved. Did I make some kind of mistake? No, no. I just realized that I was deceived. Come to think of it. I remember now. It's a joke to make fun of people who visit High Lion for the first time. Stop. You don't have to kill me twice by giving that much detail. I'm sorry. I'm holding back laughter. No, I'm not. He's trying so hard to be considerate of you. Don't ask twice. Virgil, I hate you even more now. You don't need to be too upset. When I went there for the first time in the past, I was also tricked by a colleague and took them off. That doesn't comfort me at all. I'm sorry. How do you feel? Why are you asking me that? Your molars might fall out. Relax a bit and tell me. <laughs> I can't believe Jenny deceived me. Those Jennies, you can't trust them. There's a reason why she's your friend. Now, go back to your seat quietly and wait until we've arrived. We still have three more days to go. Three more days. That's as terrible as the smell of spotted shiitake mushrooms. Still gotta talk to this guy, for sure. Up ahead is the engine room. Tell me, tell me about your life, little otterman. Small talk is <laughs> small talk is forbidden during operation. <laughs> oh my god. Up ahead is the engine room. I am an attendant of Bright Man Railroads. My job is to ensure the passengers' comfort and safety. Up ahead is the engine room. Okay, alright. Well, I don't really need to ask you. Do you have a shop? Please save any inquiries requiring souvenirs at the station until after we exit the train. Up ahead is the engine room. Okay, calm down. Oh, and dialogue then. Okay. Can I go to the engine room? I cannot. I cannot do that. Well, goodbye, Roy. You're very handsome. Um, I'm going to leave now. Farewell. Should I go back to my seat? Alright now. Have some patience and stay seated. Ugh. I'm bored. But you just sat down. This is torture. Stare out the window if you're so bored. Yeah, look outside. Look at that mountain. 
must be hiding a cave with strange pillars, statues, and a giant door. Sounds like the prologue to a story where you awaken a terrible demon. Wait, hold on, Virgil. Shut up and look out the window at the summit of the mountain. There's a gigantic shining tree at the top. A gigantic shining tree. <laughs> Why is it shining? Does it have luminescent, luminous flowers? It must be beautiful up close. Give it up. This train won't stop for two days. Uh, I want to get out now. I hope we crash. Oh my god. That's so messed up. Fat chance of that happening. So just stay bored. After all, you signed up for three years of even more boredom. Are there any crocophants nearby? Nope. What about boa constrictors? This isn't a jungle. Train robbers? This isn't the Wild West. It's a healing game, remember? Oh, it's a fourth Oh, uh-oh. Hey, a boa constrictor! <laughs> The correct line is, what's going on? There's no station here. Why are we stopping? I'm not sure. Maybe there's something wrong with the train. I doubt it's a boa constrictor, though. I don't care if it's not a boa constrictor. Please, just say there's some massively critical issue. Please, please. Please. Oh, here comes Mr. Otter. He's going to tell us what's going on. We apologize for the inconvenience. A critical issue, perhaps? The train cannot continue its journey due to a critical issue. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Attention, the train will stop until tomorrow morning and the departure time. Can we go outside? Will likely be announced tomorrow. We will depart immediately if possible. Okay, I'll be back in a bit. In the meantime, please avoid wandering too far from the train. Let's go! I'm not sure if you remember, but... Of course I remember. The shining tree is at the peak. No, not that. We have to get back by tomorrow morning. Then we should get going. Alright. Goodbye, Mr. Bartender who lied to me. And also, why do you have Van Gogh's painting in this train? Also, what's the tab over here? Oh, okay, it just shows me my mission. Sweet! Here we go. Oh, yeah, we're on the train. Wow, it's so dark. If you're scared, we can go back to the train. I love it. Let's hurry. Oh, the normal board, close over board. Okay, I already did that. Tap. Shining tree, shining tree. Okay. I'm on it. I'm ready. Goodbye, Mr. Otterman. I'm leaving. Why is Why are these train cars unhooked? It's kind of weird. I meant. I like how my little hat glows. I like it a lot. I would like to cosplay as this girl. Um, okay. So it's saved, and now down at the bottom, I have a little hand thing. I don't know what that means. It's hell. It won't be easy to climb. Look over there! There are vines hanging on the hill. I'll be able to climb that... I'll be able to climb that much. That's bad news. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Up we go. <laughs> it's a secret passageway, Virgil. I don't think it's a secret or a passageway. I bet there's a path beyond here. Do, 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 do. Doing which stuff? Doing which things? Don't worry about it. Oh, what's this? Looks like a little honey pumpkin. What's that? It's a type of weed that grows in forested areas. The vines grow so fast that you can never get rid of them by hand. You must find the nucleus hidden somewhere to get rid of it. Then I guess we can also get rid of this if we find the nucleus. Or just return to the train quietly. That can't happen! Let's go look for the nucleus. It must be nearby. Since the nucleus gives off light when you touch the vine, you'll be able to find it. Oh, cool. Remove. Remove. You can temporarily get rid of the vines with weed terminator potion. But they'll grow back after a while. 
Then what do I do? Find the core. It should be somewhere near the vines. Okay, what does that do? Oh, now I got rid of it. <laughs> okay. Sweet. Great. It's time to explore. Please don't use that word, explore. That word gives me anxiety. No thanks to your mother. Press the sprint button to move faster than normal. Sprinting uses stamina. Okay. Whoosh. Where's my stamina bar? Don't have a stamina bar. I don't see one. <laughs> Shake. Oh, acquire. Cranapple. The shining tree is at the peak of the mountain, so go quickly if you want to see it. You must return to the train by tomorrow morning. Yeah, yeah. Don't rush me, talking cat. Doing stuff. Collecting crayon apples. It sticks. What was this? Shaking the tree, collecting the sticks. Do that stick. Love collecting things. I'm big fan of collecting <laughs> things. Do, do, do. Oh, the music is so nice, and I love the graphics. Okay, you need to hush, hat, and let me live my life. Ooh, what's that? Witch flower. Oh my god, you're, you need to let me live my life, hat. You need to let me go on adventure. Ooh. Ooh. I saw him. Spooky, spooky. Surprised it doesn't let me interact with any of this stuff. I like it though. Oh my gosh. I feel like that's probably a bug because I don't think that the game designer would want the hat to be that annoying. I wonder if it's only supposed to like proc like once and just keep procking. It's the problem with early access games, you know. There can be a little fritzy, you know. Oh, oh, what is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? Why can't I? Why can't I have it? I would like to have it, please. Why won't it let me do anything with it? No, let me keep. Oh, oh. maybe it's something I can do later on. Okay, let's head on up then. A mountain. That's a bad thing, right? I always hated mountains. My leather gets worn out from all the wind. <laughs> it's rough, buddy. Yeah, I'm gonna need like a net or something, I bet. Okay, well, that's fine. We will go up this ladder. Which ladder? Go up here. Oh, wait, there's a sign over here that I did not read that I would like to read. Ooh! Interesting. Hmm. Okay, well, let's go up to the top first. Because I'm not going to spend too much time collecting stuff. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. You can't keep interrupting me. Sir, or ma'am, I don't know the gender of my hat, I guess. That's a weird thing to think about. Uh, oh, why are there so many things blocking the path? This must be a forest with many secrets. What's this? It looks like a barrier made with a witch pattern. Witch pattern? Is there a witch here? There was, or do you know how it works? School hammered into my head. Shouldn't be an issue long as it's drawn well. Investigate. Do some witchy stuff. Oh, look at that. Nice. Here we go. Oh, we made it. Okay. Wow, it's the gigantic shining tree. The same one we saw from the train. This is a bitter grape tree. A bitter grape tea tree. 
I don't think the tree is the one that's shining. Check this out, Virgil. There are a ton of butterflies on it. You're right. The butterflies seem to be glowing. These are blue moon butterflies. I have a very informative hat. The butterflies give off a subtle moonlight. The light from these butterflies has the same power as actual moonlight. That's why strange things always happen around these butterflies. Aren't they beautiful? A giant tea tree with butterflies glowing with moonlight. It is pretty rad. It's not just beautiful. It's an extremely fascinating sight to behold. Isn't this a pretty magnificent discovery? Did you know that those two are rare creatures? What? So what about it? The fact that those two are together is amazing. What about those two being together? They're usually raised together artificially to get moonflower and lucerine or two. It's uncommon for them to be together naturally like this. I don't know what they mean to get, like, what? The grape tree and the butterflies? Um, anyway. We did find something, right? I guess so. I'll have to write a letter to the school later. Let's look around a bit more. Fill up the codex and all, right? Just don't be late. We must return to the train by tomorrow morning. Okay. Let's go back the way we came up. There might be other strange things. Hmm. See, I I really, really love this, but I do feel like there are some problems with the dialogue so far, obviously. Some stuff doesn't quite make sense. Um, but, I, you know, that's easy to fix. I don't think I'll get a wink of sleep on the train. I wonder if there's anywhere I can sleep for tonight. What about the ground? The dirt and rock should make for a nice bed. That's not funny, Virgil. Ooh. Look, the blue moon butterfly we saw at the peak is here too. You might as well collect some for study purposes. You think I could just sneak up and grab it? Wait, do you remember what Mr. Graviar said? Death lives under the bed? No, not that. Draw it before you touch it. That's right. Witches encyclopedia and quilt press and fold and use quill button to draw. Once the couch is full and drawing is complete, the subject of the drawing will be recorded in the encyclopedia. Huh, okay. Cool. Approach it and use the quill to draw it in the encyclopedia. Uh, I was just walking by myself, so. Swap tools. Q and W. Quill. Use Z. Oh, drawn it. I did it. See my encyclopedia. It's in my catalog. Aw, look it. Look at how cute. Butterfly that emits a soft blue glow from absorbing moonlight. It's sensitive to sound but will not easily go away unless it feels especially threatened. Habitat and time of appearance. Oh, it's like a Pokedex. Tools used for collecting. Okay, I was right about that. Collectibles that can be acquired. Okay, how to make it easier. And exit. Great, it's reg registered in the catalog. Let's see. Oh, let me just bust out my glasses. <laughs> now, do you see why you can't catch any right now? Wait. Hold on. <laughs> I got out my quill and I drew a picture of this butterfly and my notebook magically told me some stuff about it, like a Pokedex. I mean, that's fine if that's what happened, but I feel like that could have been explained. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I don't have the tool. I need the butterfly net. I don't have a butterfly net. Not much you can do then now. But I want to do it right now. Fair, Ellie. Getting to the witch's house in High Lion is more important. <sighs> Let's go back down now. There's got to be something else that's fun. Okay, so that's that's my tool situation. Quill in hand. Okay. Oh. Uh, acquire. I would like a rock, please. What is this? Is this something? Nope, just some glowing bit of detail. 
Oh, can't get up there because I don't have a ladder. Oh, can't go through there because I can't reach the witch key thingy. Oh, I need to grow this, don't I? Interesting, interesting. So I should really draw all this stuff because then, um... yes. Oh, yeah. See, it just magically appears. Which flower? Which is often used as flower in making things. Hence the name, which flower. Okay. Grab its stem, give it a slight tug, pull it off from the ground. Oh, nice. Oh, look! You can see something like about to be pulled in over there. Oh, like you can see things you haven't collected. I like that. That's interesting. Change categories. Weed Terminator Potion. Name Extractor. Oh man, this is awesome. This is really, really cool. I'm really excited about this. Um. Okay. So I'm going to learn from my past mistakes. I need to keep a better eye on video time because I'm not a pro YouTuber. I don't have the best, you know, of the best software. I'm not probably recording in the best manner, so I can't go on with these super duper long episodes like I used to. So why don't I call it there? And uh, I want to play a bunch more of this. Like, um, I'm just really excited about this game. Um, hopefully it's not too unfinished. Uh, like I said, the only thing I've noticed so far, buggy-wise, is just some weirdness with the dialogue, either typos or just, like, it needs a once-over for flow, which is totally fine for an early access game. And then, um, just, like, the, the uh, hat prompting me, like, a bunch of times for different things. That was probably procking way too much. I'm sure that was not intentional. But, I mean, this is little stuff, totally acceptable for an early access game, and this looks awesome. The mu is, music is awesome. The graphics are awesome. I'm very excited about a collection aspect because I'm all about like collection games and crafting and I love the characters even right off the bat, the Ellie and Virgil. I just, this is, I'm pumped about this game. So I'm definitely gonna play more. Um, I'm still gonna finish unpacking. So that's still in the roster too, but uh, this might be my main squeeze for right now. So. Is there anything else I need to check out or, you know, other games you think will fit this vibe? Because this is my TM copyright vibe. <laughs> um, please let me know in the comments. And, uh, yeah. I uh, hope you have a good day. Good day. That's night and day uh, combined. So I've covered it all. <laughs> so have a good one of those. <laughs> okay. Bye. <laughs>